third problem. Find the partial fractions of or resolve x square minus this is x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1. So, now this x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1 equals to a by x plus 2 plus b x plus c by x square plus 1. Since x square plus 1 is irreducible quadratic factor. Now, x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1 equals to x plus 2 into x square plus 1 a into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x plus 2 this this gets cancelled a of x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x plus 2 is equal to x square minus 3. Now, put x is equal to minus 2. So, this becomes 0 a into 4 plus 1. So, 4 minus 3 phi a equals to 1 a equals to 1 by phi. Now, equating x square coefficients on both sides. Now, a x square a b x into x b x square b a plus b equal to 1 a plus b equals to 1, a value is known, a is 1 by 5, 1 by 5 plus b equals to 1, b equals to 1 minus 1 by 5. So, b is equal to 4 by 5. So, now a b, let us find out c value, so, equating constant terms. So, equating constant terms means here a into 1 a, c into 2, 2 c, a plus 2 c equals to here we have minus 3. So, let us see yes that is minus 3 only. Now, a value is 1 by 5, a is 1 by 5. 1 by 5 plus 2 c equals to minus 3. Now, 2 c equals to minus 3 minus 1 by 5. This 5 is the LCM minus 15 minus 1 minus 16 by 5. c equals to minus 16 by 5 multiplied by 1 by 2 to 8 job c equals to minus 8 by 5. Now, x square minus 3 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1 partial fractions. a, a means 1 by 5, 1 by 5 x plus 2 plus b, here b is 4 by 5. 4 by 5 x c, c value is minus 8 by 5 by x square plus 1. This can be rewritten as 
1 by phi of x plus 2 here phi LCM this is 4 x minus 8 by 5 into x square plus 1 these are the required partial fractions. Fourth problem. Resolve x square plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 whole square. Now, this x square plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 whole square can be written as a x plus b by x square plus x plus 1 plus c x plus d by x square plus x plus 1 whole square. Now, this we can write x square plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 whole square equals to x square plus x plus 1 whole square. And next here a x plus b into x square plus x plus 1 plus c x plus d of here c x plus d only we will get it. So, a x plus b of x square plus x plus 1 plus c x plus d is equal to x square plus 1. Now, equating highest power is x cube, equating x cube coefficients on both sides. So, let us see x cube coefficient is a x into x square a. So, now here a this side is 0. So, a becomes 0. Now, equating x square coefficients on both sides. So, let us see a x into x square that already completed a x into x a x square. So, a b into x square b plus b Okay. Now, x square coefficient is 1, a plus b is equal to 1. Since a 0, 0 plus b equal to 1. So, b is equal to 1. Okay. Now, equating equating x coefficients on both sides. Equating x coefficients means here see a x into 1 b into x b x and c here. So, a plus b plus c a plus b plus c equals to there is no x term that means x coefficient is 0. So, here substituting a for 0 b for 1. So, 0 plus 1 plus c equals to 0, c equals to minus 1. Now, equating constant terms, constant 
terms on both sides. So, let us equate constant terms on both sides. Constant terms means let us come to again here. Now, b into 1 and d. So, b plus d this b plus d is equal to constant term is here 1, 1. Now, you know the b value 1, 1 plus d equal to 1, d equal to 1 minus 1 0. That means, now a 0, b 1, c minus 1, d 0. Therefore, partial fractions x square plus 1 by x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to here b means 1 by x square plus x plus 1. Now, c means minus x d means 0. So, minus x by x square plus x plus 1 whole square. These are the required partial fractions.